In movies like Carrie, blood comes by the buckets. Perfecting that red gooey mess took a long time and several different recipes. This is the story of how fake movie blood is made. Back before film and TV, a simple red handkerchief on stage symbolized blood, but it was kind of boring. So some theaters upped the ante by boiling a bug known for its red pigment. They used the cochineal bug because it creates red dye. When black and white movies came along, pigment didn't matter, so Hollywood simplified things by using chocolate syrup. Then in the 1930s, when black and white movies turned to color, Hollywood needed a new blood trick. Enter John Tynegate, a retired pharmacist living in England. He concocted the most realistic looking blood yet, called Kensington Gore, using a combination of mostly golden syrup, food coloring, corn flour, and water. The most famous of the blood recipes, though, comes from a man named Dick Smith. He came up with something on par with a Julia Child recipe. The catch? His recipe was poisonous. One ingredient, Kodak Photoflow, is deadly when consumed. So people started replacing the poison with creamer and other items that won't kill you. Today, a lot of the fake blood you see on screen is computer generated, but if you want to be legit, it should be poison or bugs. <laughs>